Hi, I'm Tom May and I host of the Sport Market. On one hand, it's the best of times for sports fans in North America with the NHL and NBA playoffs in full gear, the Kentucky Derby of horse racing this weekend, another visit with boxing's reigning superstar Manny Pacquiao in Las Vegas, and European soccer hitting its climax with league play and the UEFA Champions League final later this month. On another, it's the worst of times, with the NFL lockout approaching the two-month mark, the NBA careening towards labor strife of its own, troubled and distressed NHL franchises in Phoenix and Atlanta, and CFL players being arrested for drug possession. When sport is framed by highlight reel goals and dunks, when extraordinary athletes are doing extraordinary things, it is at its best. Yet when it is more about salaries, legal wrangling, and breaking the law, Sport is nothing but an ugly underbelly. The business of sport is at its best when it's about competition, entertainment, and community enhancement, and providing all of us with everything from inspiration to pure escape. That's why the Green Men are good for the Vancouver Canucks, the NHL, and professional sport. The two lime green spandex-clad fans have been doing their thing at Rogers Arena for two years now, but this past week in Music City, USA, they took it to the next level. The two BCIT students, 22-year-old Adam Forsyth and 24-year-old Ryan Sullivan, otherwise known as Force and Sully, saw their media stock escalate after a complaint filed by Nashville Predators general manager David Poyle and the resultant word from the NHL and Canuck Sports and Entertainment that the Green Men would not be able to do their full shtick of handstands and glass banging at the visitors' penalty box at Rogers Arena. The controversy only fueled media interest in the Green Men and made them regular talking points on CBC's Hockey Night in Canada and in local and national sports media in the United States. It might be true that the most obvious driving force in the business of sport is the business of winning, but in my books, the most important element to the business of sport is the business of emotion and fan engagement. And that's why in their extreme approach to showing off their team colors, the green men remind us that we shouldn't take sport or the business of sport too seriously. They help even the most conservative of us with our inhibitions around fan expression. Most important, they entertain us. They help us escape from the sometimes tragic and hard to understand world around us. They make us laugh, both at their antics and at ourselves. In this day of legal wrangling over collective bargaining agreements in football and basketball, financial soap operas over soon to be relocated franchises in NHL hockey, and grand juries over steroid use in baseball, I take Force and Sully, the Green Men, anytime.